Good morning. We're going to talk a little bit about screening as requested by Guinevere. And let me show you what I've got here. I've got a couple pond baskets, large sized, full of screened perlite, and then uh, fur bark <clears throat> and a little bit of turfus. That large stuff will be mixed with this stuff up here Fox Farm, Ocean Forest, just a small part. And that'll make a great pepper mix for later in the summer when I need more moisture retention. So I start with the micro bark, which is a green all product bagged by EB Stone. And then I use this coarse perlite, very large, four cubic foot bag for about 20 bucks. Really stretches your mix, it's lightweight, inert, <clears throat> holds nutrients on its outer pores. Great stuff. And then just for today's demonstration, I've got some decorative rock, which is actually red lava rock, also called scoria, sometimes called pumice, but not quite the same. And that too is by E.B. Stone. So let me just show you what I do here. First, this is some pre-screened bark. I had this left over just so I can show you the texture. Some of it's a little bit big. You're really shooting for one eighth, <clears throat> excuse me, to one quarter inch. That would be a nice size particle right there, that little tiny guy. A little bit bigger is okay, but it will cause your mix to drain faster, may dry out quicker, and the small particles may lodge between the larger, impeding drainage and completely undoing the whole purpose of screening in the first place. So, usually I use a larger pond basket. But those are in use, so take one of these nursery flats, which has like a, I don't know, a quarter inch, three eighths inch grid. I think it's quarter inch. Put that on top. Take some bark. It's much easier with the big pond basket. And then just work it like this. Yeah, it takes time. It's easier if you have someone helping you, if you're working over a wheelbarrow. And I just toss that material onto the garden beds. <clears throat> so that's screening and then you want to make sure to remove the sap wood which is like matchsticks less than 10% in your total mix is fine but try and remove any spears that get through then finally you can see the holes on the side about 1 16th of an inch you shake out that dust, the bark dust, that will also clog your mix. Anyhow, that's to make a supremely draining mix, something for cacti and succulents, let's say. Again, for the for hot peppers, I barely even screen. I just get rid of the the big stuff, and then I mix in the perlite and the potting soil. Just for fun, this is what my perlite looks like. Really big and coarse. I like to rinse the dust off. And this is what red lava rock scoria looks like. It too can be screened. Most of it will go through. And that's about it for screening materials.